Welcome to Only Cans. Thirst date. Click here to experience cans. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't have an ex, I don't, I don't, I can't explain myself. Okay, so I got my own little thing of coke. And we're gonna just get into it. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many cams are there? Please don't unlock this. Oh, now we got to. Okay. Uh, welcome to Shiz. Shiz? Shiz. I'm gonna go with Shiz. Welcome to Shiz Heritage Collection, a safe place for you to enjoy, catalog, and embrace the whole line of Shiz branded soda products. Simply select the Shiz can and press the begin session button in order to have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with our beautiful Shiz cans. All our cans have signed can- can sent? Can sent. All our cans have signed can sent forms and are over the legal age of can sent for erotic photography. No touching or drinking. The shies, please. Shies? Shiz. I'm gonna just say whatever I want. Uh, well, I can't drink those cans, but I can drink this one. Oh, look at this can. Look at her curves. Beautiful. Let's begin the session. Let's get some photography going. Oh, hello. Is this your first time? I don't like this. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <sighs> no, I mm, I am uncomfortable. Okay. Um Is this it? Is this the game? Is it just is this the game? Like, is this all I'm- is this- I'm texting my boyfriend immediately, cause he needs to- Wait, am I doing it wrong? Hold on. So I- Okay, so I can just press either button. What does these- what do these buttons do? F? Annoyed face. I didn't get him off. I wasn't able to open his can. Is that the game? Is this the game? Is this the fucking game? Is it just the... F is this all there is? It's just fucking... I'm doing it again. Okay, this is a boy. I, I was wrong earlier. Oh, hello. Is this your first time? Well... No, but I was bad last time. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta get the can, we gotta, I can't believe I have to say this. We have to get the can off. We have to open the can. I, why is it rendered so good? What the fuck oh. is this ga- what the fuck? I'll unlock lore? Peace, love, the world, happiness, long walks on the beach, and Shy's brand. Rudeness, drab furniture, eggs, cold nights- Oh, there's like- Oh, the original. Okay, I have- I didn't read this. Okay. Hold on. Invented by the Shiz family during a lengthy trip across the Atlantic Ocean in 1744, Shiz Original is a taste sensation drunk throughout the ages. I read that right. While it doesn't use quite the same ingredients as it used to, Shiz Original still has the taste we all know and love. Currently, Shiz Original has one of the biggest throat shares in the worldwide market, and there's no signs of that stopping anytime soon. Feel the fizz inside you. Okay. Shiz Original is for everyone. They may not be the most sparkly of the bunch, but they're more than fit for purpose when it comes to fulfilling your desires. They are well-traveled, having shared momentous experiences with people all around the globe. Let them into your life and you'll be feeling bubbly within seconds. Okay. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, hello. No, it's not my first time. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong.
I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh! It tells you. Okay. Oh, it's getting harder. Uh, that was bad phrasing. I'm aiming for the fizz. Oh man. Oh. Um, the sound of a soda can orgasm. <laughs> Damn it. Students, you've unlocked your second can. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Okay. Returning to the company in 2012. After over a decade of seclusion and soul searching, John Shiz III created his first new beverage in honor of his late son, John Shiz IV. I don't know what number that is. Anyway, uh, Light was a beacon of hope and returned to form for the declining company that had just been returned to the Shiz family dynasty. It was released at the same time as Shiz Gamer Energy. Okay. Spending time with Shiz Light is truly heavenly. They are a listener and a giver. If you want to feel like you are in the Mile High Club, then you must check them out. You know what they say. Shiz Light gives you flying appendages. I'm just going to let that one sit. Flying, clouds, yoga, the wind, extreme sports. They don't like smoking, darkness, the ground, failing, in parachutes. Alright, let's start uh, the next I'm one. shaken up. What in the fuck? Uh, uh, oh. 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 Damn it. God damn it. I'm very bad at this. I mean, I guess it could be worse. Did I do? I do it. Oh, oh my! What in the fuck is this game? What is this fucking game that I'm playing? Congrats on finishing your first two cans. You seem to know what you're doing. Feel free to explore all that our cans have to offer. We got our next soda. Shiz Cherry Pop. I'm not gonna make the joke, but it's there. Shiz Cherry Pop was invented in 1999 to give Shiz the public rebranding they needed to push past the tropical storm scandal of 1998. It was accompanied by the A New Sexy Millennium ad campaign, which boosted the company's stock values by more than 200%. So many years later, Shiz Cherry Pop is still the preferred flavor among college students. Shiz Cherry Pop is sweet with a flirtatious and rebellious streak that you can't ignore. She's quite the adventurer and never stays in, if she can help it. Her hobbies include knowing every bouncer in town, inventing her own cocktails, cliff diving, and working to end housing inequality. You'll never be bored with Shiz Cherry Pop, if you can keep up. Winky face. She likes pop music, the city at night, unions, my kind of girl, cats, my kind of girl, trying new foods, and podcasts. Bugs, routines, gentrification, and golf. Oh my god. Hey, Cherry Pop, call me. I'm getting bad scores. <laughs> Come on now. Oh! Is she wearing. Okay. <laughs> Imagine voicing for this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's just okay. <laughs> there are so many jokes. Oh my god, I'm a cherry popper. 
I'm so glad that my grandparents are not here right now. Hey guys, look, I did what you can't. All right, next one, strawberry kiwi. Ooh, I like this can. Look at it, it's very pretty. That looks like something else. I'm sure that was intentional. Um, oh my god, there are so many cans. We gotta unlock them all. It's only been 17 minutes. Oh my god, I'm flying through this game. Okay. Shiz Strawberry Kiwi was John Shiz... Fuck me. Shiz Strawberry Kiwi was John Shiz II's final flavor before tragically passing away after attempting to fly in Constantine in 1975. This meant the Shiz t torch was handed off to John Shiz III, ushering the most turbulent time so far in Shiz's long history. Shiz Strawberry Kiwi is a free spirit. They are a flower child who believes in the healing energy of nature and love. If you choose Shiz Strawberry Kiwi, you'll become more connected to the soda you truly are in your soul. Disco music, gushers, mm, crystals, and zodiac signs. They don't like computers, newspapers, or nonfiction. Um, they... You know what? Not my type. But let's see what they do. Hello. Let's... Welcome. Oh my god. This game is... Oh. is... Yep. Please, please wear headphones. Yes. I'm becoming desensitized to it. Like, at this point, I don't even give a shit. Yes. I can't read the. Give me one second and I'll read the. Did I do it? Oh, you think you're uncomfortable? <laughs> Look how pretty this design is, though. I would buy this. It looks like it would be like a really nice lemonade. Okay, give me one second. I've been drinking soda, so like... I can feel the fizz inside me. In 1986, when the stock of shiz was at its peak, John Shiz III, this motherfucker again, threw an extremely exclusive soiree to celebrate his son's sweeter 21. The decadent evening of fizzy pleasures was crowned with Shiz Lemon Party. Only 1,200 cans were produced for the occasion, and now this pungent carbonated delight can only be acquired by someone in possession of one of the 347 Shiz rings that were handed out alongside the invitation to the elite, securing John Shiz III the favor of those who would become some of the most active investors for the company. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but sh sure. Shiz Lemon Party doesn't mingle with just anyone. Don't dare waste their time if you're not up to their high standards. They're sophisticated and hard to dazzle, but if you prove to be at their level, they may let you in on a faucet of they may let you in on a faucet of themselves. Only a select few have been able to taste. They like mornings, champagne sorbet, macaroons. Centor Centorini? Centorini. And cello pieces. They don't like jeans, motorcycles, body hair, talking to strangers. Um, I don't like talking to strangers. If you want body hair, you can have body hair, I don't care. Motorcycles are pretty cool, but I would never ride one. And I like jeans, because they make my legs look nice. But I am not wearing jeans right now, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, let's begin the session, shall we? Let's, let's see if we can, um... We can open this I can might up. Taste a little bitter, but I go down smooth. Um. Okay. Oh. Mm. He's British. I want to live up to their high standards. Oh. Ooh, I got a B rank. I can do this. I can do it. I did it! I'm a bitter rings! Posh gargling noises! I am having too much of a good time laughing uh, and trying to figure out the lore of this game to, like, be turned on by any of the noises. But... Because the noises just kind of make me giggle. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. A little bit of a plan. Oh, I see. In 2013, after several years of discussion, John Shiz III and Ichiro Yori of Cyberlife Industries founded the Shiz Research and Development Facility on a small island off the coast of Hokkaido. In honor of this big step forward in soda-based research, Shiz released Shiz Juicy Melon across Japan that year. Yeah, that's very Japan thing. Shiz Juicy Melon is bright, bubbly, and adorable. They always brighten up a room with their audacious and colorful sense of style. If you want a tour of Japan that takes you off the beaten path, then you want to try Shiz Juicy Melon. They love Harajuku fashion, J-pop, anime, DDR, Beret, M82, Shiz Blueberry Tart. Ooh, we haven't unlocked that yet. Are we getting some, like... Oh my god, they have a crush on each other? Oh my god. She doesn't like loud noises, dogs, or phone calls, or beer. Uh, okay. Hot take. I don't like dogs either. They're loud. Like, I'm fine with dogs. I have a dog. But, like, it's not my dog. <laughs> listen, listen. The faster we get this can off, the faster we can move on. Maybe Blueberry Tart will be next and we can figure out the juicy lore between Juicy Melon and Blueberry Tart. I want to know if they have a thing for each other or if Blueberry Tart has a crush on someone else. So let's get into it. How How is this gonna- Konnichiwa. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this. Oh, I did that wrong. Mm. Anyone here watch hentai? Oh no. Oh no, I have one second. Did I get him off? Can do attitude, let's go. Oh my god, Elderflower. Okay, so I wanna just take a look at it. Oh, that's pretty. During the decade long voyage of morning self reflection and discovery, the fuck? Okay. John Shiz III spent a year in Romania researching local customs and legends. His journey left him with fond memories of this time with the locals, and so he launched a range of products for Romanian audience in 2016, starting with Shiz Elderflower. Flowers, plants, the forest, old buildings. They don't like dairy products, direct sunlight, and garlic. Are they a vampire? Am I about to get off a vampire? Oh my god. In a field full of many flowers, you are the one perfect rose. Wow, thank you. Um. I can't really read the subtitles. God damn it, god damn it. Uh, I fucking I fucked up. I fucked uh, up. Uh, uh. I didn't get in a thing for that, but I got S tier. That's good, right? Like S is like the best. It's gold, so it should be tropical storm. Oh my god! I finished fucking my Dr. Pepper! Okay, but there was a tropical storm, um, where was it? I think it was at Cherry Pop, the tropical storm debacle. The tropical storm scandal of 1998! So, Shiz Tropical Storm was formulated in 1992, originally as a limited edition flavor for Shiz's sponsorship of the 1992 ball games. The flavor was so popular that it became a mainstay in Shiz's lineup. It was briefly pulled from production after the scandal in 1998, but returned for good in 2002. What was the scandal? What was the scandal? I want to know! Shiz Tropical Storm is a tease who likes to play hard to get. If you can catch their eye though, there's no getting rid of their bubbly personality. They've got no alternative style, and that co they. Oh, they've got an alternative style, and that comes into play with everything they do. You can find them lounging on the beach, playing volleyball, or roller skating on the boardwalk. Good times are guaranteed with Shiz Tropical Storm. They like the beach, road trips, signing pro-environmental petitions, but not actually doing anything about it. Pop punk music. Okay, I like pop punk music. 
They don't like litter, rain, horror movies, or being tickled. Um, I like the rain. And they're called Tropical Storm. What the fuck? All right, let's begin the session. Sweet, Daddy. Excuse me? I- this is the worst one yet. This is the worst one. This is the worst one. I don't like this. I- I- I can't even concentrate on clicking. I can't fucking deal with this. This is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. Okay. Oh my god, gamer energy. They talked about this earlier. Okay. Let's see how the gamers do it. Shiz Gamer Energy was part of a dual release with Shiz Light when Sean Shiz the Third returned to his company in 2012. John Shiz III had big dreams for the next 10 years and needed a new product to send stock prices skyrocketing. Shiz Gamer Energy revitalized Shiz and reshaped the company into what we know today. Shiz Gamer Energy is a fast-paced soda and will be quick to call you a casual if you don't keep up. They're certainly not for scrubs and will keep you guessing with every snap. With Shiz Gamer Energy, every O will be a GG! Video game sales, new strats, pawning noobs. They don't like DMCA, losing, and controller drift. All right, let's get this gamer girl off. Welcome, gamer. Nice. Score. This motherfucker doesn't even moan. Oh. Score. She just says... Nice. I... Mm. Oh. Score. Nice. If she doesn't say GG whenever I get her off, I swear to God, I'm gonna be just so dis I'm gonna be so disappointed. Oh. Score. Petra. Nice. Score. GG. Yes, let's go. Fucking GG, let's fucking go. Vanilla! Oh, look at her! She's cute! Oh my god, we still have so many cans to unlock! Ah! I've barely gotten halfway! GG, baby! See, this one says please don't unlock this, and I want to unlock it so bad. Motherfucker, I don't even give a shit if there's the lore. I'm excited to see the new flavors. Like, what did they come up with? This is like Fago all over again. All right. Shiz French Vanilla was Sean Shiz the third second foray, foray into formulating, going with a decidedly less risky profile than Shiz Blueberry Tart. Shiz French Vanilla was inspired by the business travels Sean Shiz third made as a young man and remains most popular in European hotels. Alright, ooh la la, Shiz French Vanilla is here to serve you. They might not be the brightest, but they're bubbly, sweet, fun, and you know how and know how to show you a good time. If you're looking to clean up your act in this game, Shiz French Vanilla is the way to go. Okay, so French Vanilla likes cleaning, bike rides, butterflies, and they don't like dust, cold weather, and white wine. I wonder what these sodas taste like. I'm gonna I'm gonna begin session. Salut, mon cher. Mon cher. Pleased gasp. Happy sigh. Delicious moan. I don't know if I've ever referred to it as that before, but... Oops, wrong thing. Mm. Sadder French sound. 
sad French noises. Mm. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, I still got her off. Oh, that last noise was interesting. Canada shy. Okay. She's Canada shy. Wait. Wait, what? She's Canada shy was the second carbonated drink formulated by the Russian shiz inspired company She's PJ SC at the local success of cold beet stew She's She's aimed for the global market with a more international flavor. She's Canada shy was mildly popular and niche shop soft drink fans amid oh my god i cannot read canada shy was mildly popular and niche soft drink fans and enough to give she's the boost they needed to officially acquire shiz in 2001 wait new branding she is canada shy can be a little dry at first but if you give them a chance they can be the sweetest not literally though definitely an acquired taste and not for everyone those who develop the palette for she is canada shy will stay hooked one might say enamored forever that's how i feel about canada dry the mountains warm socks mint chocolate and lacrosse they don't like phone calls loud people sandy beaches and soggy fries you know what same really me? Are you sure? Well, if you're gonna be all insecure about it, then probably not. Oh my. Oh. 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 Oh my. Oh. God damn it. I gotta unfocus my eyes and just zone in. I'm getting a lot of bees. Oh that diddly damn it, I wasn't oh. paying attention. Oh. oh, I mean, I still got her off, Excuse I guess. Me, I'm so sorry. I are you apologizing? Why are you apologizing? Damn, I'm getting a lot of bees. I mean, bee is a passing. Liquor, liquorlish, liquorlicious? Liquor, liquorlicious. Okay. She. <sighs> uh, this game. Shiz Liquorlicious was a special flavor developed in 2012 as John Shiz III's preparation for the final party before Doomsday. Doomsday didn't happen, but Shiz Liquorlicious became the most requested Shiz flavor in clubs across the world. Liquorlicious is a partier through and through. They literally cannot stop partying, or they'll cease to exist. They know no pain, or sleep, or fear, making them the ideal partner for any Friday night. That doesn't sound good. They like neon bracelets, waiting in lines, rainy days, and white shirts. They don't like self-preservation instincts, reading, and daylight. I don't know if I like this can. This sounds like rape bait. This sounds like date rape. Oh, it's a man, too? This is a date rape waiting to happen. This man would drug my drink. I don't know if I want you to get off. I'll do it, because I have to pass, but... Know that I'm not happy about it. You don't deserve... You don't deserve my love. Did you get off? Oh. Easily influenced. Oh. <sighs> blueberry tart! Oh my god, it's blueberry tart! <gasps> they like juicy melon! Oh my god! The plot thickens! Shiz Blueberry Tart was Sean Shiz III's very first formula in 1975, kicking off a 45-year-long career in making soda. Shiz Blueberry Tart was a risk, but paid off in spades and created the monetary foundation for Shiz. His father wouldn't have approved of this flavor, but as Sean Shiz III always said, dead man can make no flavors. Interesting. 
Shiz Blueberry Tart is the brooding and mysterious type. They don't subscribe to cultural norms and have their own dark flair with everything they do. If you can get past their moody exterior, Shiz Blueberry Tart will treat you right. You better treat Juicy Melon correctly. I swear to God, if I find out that you're hurting Juicy Melon, I will come for your ass. Okay? I will crush you. They like alt rock, black cats, shiz, juicy melon, and they don't like pastel colors, bland foods, and coffee. Boy, if you don't like pastel colors, how do you like juicy melon? This game, I feel like this game was just a matter of love. Like, someone had so much fun with this game. Alright, are we ready to get this bitch off, I guess? Ugh. Hey. It's a girl?! <gasps> Lesbians! Mm-mm. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, mm -mm. Ooh, that was... <sighs> I didn't mean to disappoint uh. you, Blueberry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. That's just a cheeky <laughs> Dom laugh. <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh. Oh, I got you off. Uh oh, I'm gonna explode. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. Oh man, I only got a D. What did I get for Juicy Melon? I got an S rank for Juicy Melon. I'm gonna do this one again. I want to get. Hey. Goth and pastel GF. I want to. I want to. I want to treat her right. All right, I did it. I got the S tank, uh -oh. the love birds. I got the S rank.